All righty then. This is yard sale. Uh, what what month is it? April. This is not an April Fool's joke. Um, this is in there. If you remember, I, I did the uh, backpack, the Bluetooth backpack, and this is an April Fool's joke on the world. But you can purchase this in the yard sale. If you don't know what's going on, if you support this channel and therefore keep me employed during this whole thing, uh, thank you very much. And uh, as the benefit, one of the benefits of the $5 tier is you get to bid on things in the yard sale. And this month has a couple special items in it. Um, you would just join and it'd be a post. There's actually a post linked in the description of this video where you can bid on any of these, I think, 14 items. I got to really check. I don't know where to start. Is it with the Boreas? So the triangle is like, hey, I just keep the Boreas. So now the triangle Boreas, they're in the yard sale. There's ones I reviewed, the ones I was like, oh. So that, ignore this, by the way. This is other triangle things that are coming and uh, those are mine. You, you can't have them. The big thing is my projector. Uh, yesterday's video, if I'm doing this right, because I'm filming this way before, was of the 8350 versus the 5030. And this is my 8350. And I told you in that video I was going to sign it. And I applied a little bit of Zeos to it. And I cleaned it beautifully. I cleaned the remote. I have the box I got my new projector in. I'm going to wrap it up. If you'd like to have a chance to own an actual cinema projector, 2,000 hours on the bulb, <clears throat> but it will turn on, it will function, it will work, and a question marks amount of hours on it. And worst case scenario, you buy a cheap replacement bulb. I'll link to a replacement bulb in the description in case you're concerned. Zeos will go out and find one. So yeah, uh, the way these auctions work is you, there's no minimum bid. You just bid whatever. $8.12 Zeos because I don't want even numbers so that, you know, there's no ties. So you bid $8.12, no one else wants it, you win. Continental United States, I will ship you any of these items for free off my dime or, or off the bid, whatever it costs. If you live in Calcutta, um, I calculate what the shipping is and I charge you for half of that shipping. So if it's $80 to ship to Calcutta, it's 40 from my bank account and 40 from yours and everything goes fine. These are the items in this month's April 2020. We're all locked in and have nothing better to do than watch these videos on the internet sort of yard sale. So Epson 8350, my baby really means a lot to me. Uh, I, I hate to see it go, but it's going. I've got the subwoofer. This is the Amazon Echo Alexa subwoofer, which I'm going to unpair from my system and then you can pair it with one of the things from your system. So that's in there. I don't know if I have the original box. I'll look, but it may just come wrapped up with the cord. This is actually something rather interesting and special. This is the, um, the mat that I've used for like reviews for all of 2018 and 2019. This is the desk mat, the mouse pad from my review desk. And this is the There Is No Cal Level mouse pad that I used before that. And I had this one on my real computer desk until recently. If you'd like to own these uh, mats and as a bonus, because buying mouse pads is stupid, uh, this old SAP6 headphone amp, I'm combining this. This is the mouse pad combo. So if you'd like to bid on the mouse pad combo, which comes with a free headphone amp, there you go. The uh, Heresy. Uh, I said I was going to hold off. I held off. Here we are. We've got a projector. We've got a subwoofer. We've got mouse pads and the heresy. So if you want the shit heresy, it's worth a hundred bucks. I'm sure. Here's the way it's going to work out. You're going to bid on it. Someone in a country that cannot get shit equipment will bid a lot on it over retail. And then I'll end up spending $45 of my own money to get it to them. And that's the way that works. I'm going to bounce over to the random box of wires. I do these every, not, not every month, but like every other month It's just things I find around my apartment that I don't need anymore. And this one's a rather good one. <clears throat> Number one, we have some art that was sent to me. I forget which company sent it to me, but you plug it in, it's USB and it lights up and it's all, oh, that's very nice. Who cares? Um, in more of the, I'm a Zeos fanboy and I'll lick things that were on his body. As these mouse pads are on my desk, this is my head strap that I've been using for all of 2019 and into 2020. And it actually snapped. The plastic there snapped and the plastic here snapped. So I bought a new replacement thing if you want to, I don't know, let your dog sniff it so he knows the scent of my blood, then you could do that. I've got random bags. I got a couple headphones that I'm never gonna review ever. Never, ever, ever. 
I got Audio Technicas. I don't even know the model number. I bought them because they looked cute. And then they were real small and I'm like, eh. I got a set of Sony's here. I got a set of Sonics here. I have my old Gigabyte M8000X mouse. This thing is, it's fine. It's not disgusting at all. We've got USB cables. We've got uh, a couple Bluetooth adapters. What the hell is that? There's a mouse thing, a mouse, like a cat toy. Oh, there's a three and a half millimeter RCA. This is just random stuff that it's just like, I don't, I don't anymore. I just get it out. Instead of throwing it in the trash, if someone wants to bid on it and they have any use for any of the stuff in it, that feels better than just tossing it. Yamaha MT7s in white. Probably some of the prettiest headphones ever. They don't sound bad. The comfort needs a fixin' and they have an attached cable. Whatever you bid on these, it's gonna be less than retail. I hope you can get them, fix them, enjoy them. <sighs> Fuck, why can't they just be great? If these are just great. They would have been great if they were great. Um, coming back from like two months ago, remember the Kana, the Kana 7, the Kenwood amplifier? The speaker amp, headphone amp, that was only mediocre at headphones and really mediocre at speakers, but beautifully built. Well, that got auctioned off two months ago, and then the guy never paid, and then therefore here it is. It's still here. So if you want the Kana, the KA, and the links are in the description of everything that's for sale. So you, you, can, you can bid, and finally, please give this thing a home. It will work. It will work. It's just, it's overpriced, but you're not going to pay the full price because you're bidding on it at an auction. This is interesting. The little X-Duo, and this is what, the X3? I had this also in a yard sale, and again, someone just went, eh. So to spice it up, here's the X3, which is a very nice portable player, metal, with Bluetooth, and I'm going to include the TRN little adapters for Bluetooth with the charging cable so that you can use that as a bundle. So that's a little X-Duo bundle. You'll be able to bid on that. Another X-Duo item, and I really like X-Duo, so I don't know why everything's in the yard sale, but this is something I rarely ever use. This is their dedicated model X2 uh, Bluetooth amp. It's just a Bluetooth amp. You can auxiliary in and have a headphone out, or you just click it on, you get all the cool lights and the gain switch, no way to control next and last track. Although if they had less and less track, this would be the only thing I use, but BTR5 exists, so feel free to bid on that. FIOA5, again, another thing that's just bounced back, uh, rejects. Uh, very, very few headphone amplifiers, purely headphone amplifiers exist. Everything's an amp DAC now, and this is one of the ones that's just an amp. And it's a really good one, and it's a solid build. It's one of the most beautiful things Fio makes, like as far as like construction. So feel free to throw a bit on that. We have another Fio product. So two two Xdos and two Fios. This is the M9, the full-on Android-based portable media player. This is like four hundred dollars, and it's balanced, and it's USB-C, and it's like I said, it's Android. And the only reason I'm selling it is because when I review the Hibby R5. I went, well, the Hibby wins. So I don't expect to get full retail from this. I don't expect to get close to full retail on this, but uh, I will look for the box for it. I don't know if I have it. It has at least a protective case and it comes with my love and you can't ask for more than my love in a protective case. This thing, all right, I don't know who's buying it, but it's the Dayton Audio Wi-Fi Bluetooth speaker with IR remote control black. And they, Dayton sent me this a while ago, like a year and a half ago. And I took it out and it sounds okay, but it's a, like a speaker, but it needs to be plugged in constantly to the wall. And what's the point of a Bluetooth speaker that's not battery powered? And it wasn't good enough sounding for me to like scream. So it's just, it's, if you need a Bluetooth speaker that you don't mind plugging in, even if you want to use it to like back up your Alexa, and just, just stick it in a corner and pair it to Alexa with Bluetooth and you're happy to go. Um, and then of course the Triangle Boreas, which I already talked about. So that's it. That's, that's this month. Get this stuff out of my house. Backpack subwoofer, projector, mouse pad combo, Magni Heresy, random box of wires, MT7Ws, Kana 7 amp. We've got the X-Duo uh, combo. We've got the X-Duo Bluetooth. Actually, I should probably name this as like the X-Duo PMP or DAP. Then the X-Duo Bluetooth. Fio, what are you not, what's your model number again? You are the FA5, wow, you're bad. A10, A4. We got the M9 portable player, 
Dayton uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi thing, and the Triangle Borea BRO2s in what's the walnut and walnut. So feel free if you want to support this channel, jump on the Patreon or the Subscribe Star. Either one works for these things. There's a post that uh, once you're a patron or a subscriber, you can see. You click the link to fill out the form, and that's it. You everything put your information in where you live and you put in your bids for every item you want to bid on one item you only bid on one item you want to bid on every item you bid on every item it doesn't matter um glad you made it to april with me hopefully i don't lose my mind and that's an exercise shift don't look at it moving on um a couple things coming up i should have a re review of the headphone wall. People have been asking me for that. The headphone wall 2020 video is live to patrons, or at least to the $10 patrons. I haven't put it on Patreon yet. But um, that's here. The heresies are coming up. These big old triangles are coming up. They're big. Those are big. Those are the thetas. Um, so yeah, thank you for stopping by. I'm losing my voice, probably from not crying, but screaming. So we'll see how the rest of the week goes and the month. And I'll see you for next yard sale. May, May 1st, May 1st.